Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. And I just want to share something that I'm finding really concerning right now. It's a trend that I think is accelerating online. And I feel like it is really, it's a tactic that the quote unquote dark side uses to control people and to control people's minds and to get us to be in kind of a, a divided state, right? To pit people against each other okay and so i i don't go on facebook very often but i i just saw a couple days ago um this meme that was posted by a friend of mine and i just want i just feel the need to call it out so i couldn't find the actual one but it's it's very similar um we're not coming for their guns but so why are they coming for our birth control all right so uh, at the face of it, uh, first of all, this is meant to be triggering, okay? It's it's meant to get the emotions up in a tizzy. I am not even going to go into these issues right now because to me, the real issue is not these issues, okay? The real issue is that these kinds of things are being used to control and manipulate people and get people into a, a state of mind that is kind of paranoid and pitted one against each other, okay? So, and the tactic I'm talking about is the sound bite, okay? So we're not coming for their guns. Why are they coming for our birth to control? Notice what it's doing. First of all, it's taking two issues and it's kind of scrambling together without really a lot of logic. And second, it's pitting us against them. We, they, we, they. It's, it's getting people to identify in these camps, these kind of tribal camps. And there's absolutely no nuance altogether. And and I, I do want to say, you know, if this person is watching, um, I'm not trying to call you out. And because I know this person is a highly spiritual person doing a lot of really good work in the world. And I'm calling this particular one out because it caught my attention. But I think this is something that all of us are being exposed to a lot. It is really, really tempting to jump into this kind of um, way of communicating. And I'm sure I'm not exempt either, <laughs> um, but I feel like it's something that we all need to really start watching for as, um, you know, people who are wanting to connect more with the light. Because when we're, when we jump on these little sound bites, what they do is that, like they bring us into separation mentality because a sound bite is just that it's a little teeny tiny pixel of an idea okay and and so we have to be really cognizant of any time there's one of these issues that's polarizing and we're seeing so so many of them now it's almost impossible to even just go through life or say something that doesn't become polarizing in somebody's mind but what a sound bite does is it takes that polarization and amps it up a lot okay because it takes it out of context and turns it into this little kind of just like you you have to jump on it and take sides it's very dividing it's polarizing um and it hits people against each other and this is actually one of the tactics that's used um in propaganda and uh, you, you know also in um persuasive writing to try and get people to find the, a common enemy with whoever it is that's that's posting. So I, I just want to just call this out because if we want to create more peace in the world, we need to create more harmony. And in order to create more harmony, we have to look at things more holistically. We have to be able to see all sides of an issue. Peace has a lot to do with um, creating greater spheres of understanding, which requires nuance. And what sound bites do is they shred any semblance of nuance. It becomes all black and white. And you're either uh, with me or against me. You're on my side or you're not. You're an ally or you're an enemy. And that's what the world is moving towards right now, apparently. That may be something that the world needs to go through. But I feel in my heart that as light workers, we're here to 
rise above that okay we're here to sow the seeds for the world that is to come again this isn't about these issues it's about the bigger issue of what's happening here but if you look at either of these issues that are being called out i guarantee you that if you brought people together that are on opposite sides of both these issues and really started drilling down and really got them in the same room with each other and talking to each other and learning about their hopes, their fears, their aspirations, they would find more in common than, the, than they have differences. And that would be where you could start maybe starting to explore some solutions that actually address the, the the root problems that these issues are symptoms of, okay? Because guns are not a root problem and neither is birth control, okay? And that's true of most things out there. We've got all these little tribes that are forming, right? And And I call it toxic tribalism because it's like, you know, choosing the sides and then you got to fight and defend that to the death. And and that's what we've come down to as a society is like, okay, choose your stand and then defend it to the death. We can see where that's heading, right? Um, you, you know, why not choose your stand to the best of your ability based on what you believe to be true and right, and then open your eyes and ears and listen to other people's experiences and start to really look at, well, can I look at this from a different perspective? Even if it's something you feel, especially if it's something you feel really, really strongly, start listening to them and listen to their rationale and listen to their fears and listen to especially listen to why you know what is it that they're trying to create you know most people are trying to create a better world what does their better world look like and why and you're not going to agree with everything that they say and you shouldn't right okay this isn't about just radical acceptance and whatever okay because right now we need to stand in our truth and we need to set our boundaries and stuff but are you thinking about the boundaries are you testing your own boundaries that's super important we need to be questioning freaking everything okay and that includes our own deeply held beliefs my beliefs have changed so radically as i learn more about um, spiritual principles and have gone through some painful experiences um my sh beliefs have shifted a lot but now i look at my reactions and my beliefs and i can actually back them up okay so whatever you choose it's like what are you backing up and is it just regurgitating what you're seeing through sound bites because if i can tell you if you're just regurgitating sound bites be really careful because that is likely to feed the dark if you're tempted to, to post a meme like this or something it's like really look at feel into the energy of it is there anything constructive about what what you know what you're posting if it's a meme or something like that or is it actually going to be fueling enmity fueling hate pushing people apart, pushing people in different, different camps. I think it's it's important to talk about these issues. We need to talk about them, but we need to talk about them in a nuanced way and in a way that people can be vulnerable and not get their heads bitten off, okay? And, and that's becoming more and more rare. So I feel like as light workers, uh, you know, addressing these these kinds of issues, can we be creative and find ways to hold space? and find ways to bring people together and you know even if they don't discuss their differences at least find ways to get people looking at their commonalities okay because once you have really strongly defined commonalities then you can cash through this because we really there's some neighborliness right some brotherly love between us we're never going to get through this without building brotherly love okay so if you're gonna post a meme think about that can you post one that facilitates brotherly love okay 
you are loved. You are not alone. You were born to be free.